Okay, so the purposes of today's session are to provide a brief overview of the uh, physiological effects of dietary nitrate supplementation and whether or not exercise performance is improved. So nitric oxide is a gaseous signaling molecule which has been implicated in performing a number of physiological functions all of which may contribute to an improvement in exercise performance. So, NO has been implicated in uh, the regulation of glucose uptake by the muscle. We know that it is also a potent vasodilator, so potentially blood flow, muscle blood flow may be improved. And we also know that nitric oxide uh, is involved in the regulation of mitochondrial respiration. So nitric oxide is synthesized endogenously via the 5-electron reduction of L-arginine, requiring oxygen. Now initially it was considered that nitrate and nitrite were simply inert byproducts of NO metabolism. However, it has been subsequently revealed that under specific physiological conditions, nitrate and nitrite can be recy recycled back into nitric oxide. Therefore, increasing the storage pool exogenously of nitrate may provide an important means of maintaining elevated levels of NO under conditions where the NOS enzymes, the function of the NOS enzymes may be impaired, for example, with old age. Now, within our diet, the main source of nitrate is in the form of vegetables. So, for example, beetroot juice is very high in nitrate. Uh, above 250 milligrams per 100 grams of, wet, of fresh weight. So the exogenous pathway involved in nitric oxide production involves ingesting nitrate. Now most of the nitrate that we ingest passes into the stomach, however around 25% can actually be reduced to nitrate via uh, oral anaerobes within the saliva. The nitrite is subsequently swallowed and within the acidic environment of the stomach nitrite can be uh, converted into, into nitric oxide. So it has been shown that following acute ingestion of nitrate rich beetroot juice the actual change that we see in plasma nitrite is dose dependent. So we know that uh, levels of nitrite within the blood peak around two to three hours post ingestion and the actual increase we see above a non-supplemented control condition uh, is, dose, is dose dependent. And this has been shown to lower the oxygen cost of uh, cycling in a specific work rate, at a fixed work rate. So Larson uh, supplemented with nitrate in the form of sodium salts following a three-day period of supplementation, they reported a lowered oxygen cost at cycling work rates between 45 to 80 percent of, uh, of the maximum power output. Likewise, when nitrate is uh, supplemented in the form of uh, an organic product, beetroot juice, following a period of six days supplementation, the steady state oxygen cost of performing exercise below the lactate threshold is lowered by between 13 to 15 percent in the nitrate condition compared to the placebo condition. And this improvement in exercise economy has been shown uh, across a number of different exercise modalities uh, other than cycling. So some of the mechanisms that may be responsible for this improved exercise economy well, it's conceivable that the mitochondria may improve their efficiency in terms of ATP production. So a lowered oxygen cost of ATP resynthesis, or potentially a lowered ATP cost per unit of force produced. And, or thirdly, an alternative mechanism may relate to a compensatory increase in anaerobic ATP production in the face of inhibited mitochondrial respiration. <coughs> 